but how have you been sort of been positive throughout what has helped you and um, also from the time that this happened you know to the you know tell us about the time when you when this you know when this was announced when the lockdown was announced it was even even we came to know about the pandemic becoming like this um how what are your observations from that to today you know when we are almost like few weeks into the lockdown uh to be honest rubrani <clears throat> when the health advisories had started in the country i'm talking about the early phase of it yeah. i had access to it and i i was one of the first early perhaps people who found out because of my associations with the united nations um and the fact that i'm constantly keeping in touch with the un headquarter the un office in delhi um we knew that this situation was going to unfold of course we also knew that every day would be different that yeah. there was no way of knowing for sure but i think it was just rational thought that suggested the health advisories would very quickly evolve into lockdowns because that was the only way we could contain this virus in the meanwhile i had to go to hyderabad to shoot wild dog my film mm. with nagar jana sir correct and, and we discussed about it remember and it was because of the health advisories the global health advisories that they had to reshuffle reshuffle their dates move the shoot to hyderabad i was supposed to start shooting in the middle of march dates were pulled back and our producers were dealing with all kinds of uh, issues and their request was that we come to hyderabad and shoot and this was the early uh, week like the first week of march and you know it's crazy rudrani how when you become conscious of the fact that you shouldn't be touching anything yeah. or your face you start realizing how many surfaces are transferred or touches transferred from yeah. surfaces or people to people contact in a day yeah. especially when you are on a film shoot so it was it we we started making jokes about it literally because there was no other way of dealing it otherwise we would have all like really started suffering anxiety so we stayed calm we did our work we wrapped up our work ahead of schedule we were all very grateful and happy that things went to plan and everything was fine and i think we got back to mumbai on the 6th or the 7th of march and that was it i trust the government i believe they will come through for us and they really have rudrani i think yeah. that why people have not you know this it's just it's amazing how they have come through for us the essentials providers the kirana stores the vegetable vendors the now of course there's so many online services also that have restarted that had stopped yeah there are apps at work technology is really helping people get what they need at their gate whether it is the artists community who's uh, contributing to uh, fu- like organizations whether it's the chief minister's fund or the prime minister's fund or ngos or uh, uh, people who are feeding and rescuing abandoned yeah. animals i mean it's crazy how many people are abandoning their pets right now because they're scared that the their pets carry covid and i think while there is this is a challenge and who describes it and the un describes this as a world war it is a war against a virus yeah. there is something that i always do in my meditation after i'm done i repeat three times i am grateful i am grateful i am grateful and i think uh, yeah that's what keeps uh me centered it also helps to be surrounded by biodiversity to be able to look at beautiful plants with flowers and the birds in the windows uh, yeah. something that i enjoy year round but i'm enjoying so much more right now because i feel like you know whether it is a piece of open sky or it's a flowering plant or it's just visiting birds or bird song these are things that are giving or sunshine just soaking in some sun sunshine being able to look at the moon every day these are things that 
I'm mad. I do every day anyway. But I think <laughs> yeah. at this time, everything, everything from the natural world feels so much more uplifting. So there is a there is there's a silver lining in nature that is so visible. Mm. While I think that's the that's what keeps us sane and safe and. Balance. As I said, I said one of the people who is really utilizing this time, which you always have been in, is one of is you. Uh, so probably the ones who are hearing, uh, please you know take tips from what you just said. This is the most interesting way to right now um, utilize the time that we have. So tell me, how has family been? Uh, how are you communicating with friends? Who are you in touch with? You know, technology. How that- so mom and I are housemates. Huh. as we've always been um we also have one live in health but the good thing is that we're well planned and we're disciplined so we finish most of our chores in the first half of the day there's of course some amount of bartan and what filling yeah. water and all of that that happens in the second half as well but all our cooking work and all of that gets done in the first half of the day and uh uh talking to friends i think um between so there is i'm doing a lot of creative work that meetings because we're privileged and we can continue the work that we are doing sure so a lot of the creative meetings uh, writing meetings casting meetings um you know just uh, reading scripts understanding what is happening how are we taking things forward there's some pr- projects that we are that are under development that were obviously under development before the lockdown now we're trying to yeah. assess, assess how we're going to uh use this time constructively to get to a stage where whatever the outcome uh, yeah. and however it yeah. takes we are using our time most productively so there's all of that happening um then of course there is some demand for time from good folk like you who want to do this <laughs> spread some of course positivity and love i started a little uh, thing myself which i've been meaning to do for many years but just never got down to doing it a live on every wednesday called uh, hashtag down to earth with d uh, so i'm talking to colleagues and friends who share a common passion for nature yeah. and uh, i'm going to lead it up to uh, earth day which is on the 22nd of april and hopefully yeah. continue it continue it you know because the yeah. theme of um, world environment day this year is biodiversity if we can find a way to compost our kitchen waste jo dharti se ugta hai wo wapas dharti mein ja sakta hai so try and find a way to start composting the waste there are so many easy ways to do it all that information is available online just go figure it out and start doing it watch e town news monday to friday at 9:30 pm only on zoom